machinery, the music and the technology are all from the 1950s and 60s, the high point of analog recording. But this is not a scene from 60 years ago. Today in West London, a small team are cutting vinyl from masters so precious they're kept under lock and key. This was in a very poor state and uh, again, the two machines together took around three years to restore. Founder and owner of the electric recording company, Pete Hutchison, had many years experience running the Peace Frog record label when he approached EMI to license master tapes of some key classical recordings. The problem was that nobody had the original equipment. So, you know, I'd, I'd ring up the major studios, the big names, and say, look, I want to remake this record from the 50s using the original valve equipment, cut it in mono, and nobody had that equipment working. So I then had to go on this, uh, uh, this sort of pilgrimage, if you like, to find the original equipment, get it restored, uh, and up to scratch and in, in working order. So far, the Electric Recording Company, or ERC, has issued 15 classical titles with a usual run of 300 discs. The artwork reflects the recording. It is done using 1950s printing technology. Single disc albums sell for around 500 US dollars each and become collector's items in their own right. A limited run of copies of this cut vinyl will leave this studio here in West London to be shipped around the world. Around 50% of them will be bought by collectors in East Asia. Collectors in China, Hong Kong, South Korea and Taiwan make up a significant proportion of the business. They do have parallels with the wine market, you know, they're, they're rare, they're desirable um, and yeah, they're, they're very, very beautiful items and I've, you know, I've, I've been, I'm a collector as well as a dealer, <laughs> so I buy myself and I, I think people now really get it, you know, that these records produced then uh, are, are very special, you know, so uh, I can see why the market has been increasing. ERC is finding new audiences for its products. The company has enjoyed a year-on-year -year increase in turnover of 60% since 2012. Digital technology is inferior to analog technology because it's limited by numbers, by bit rates. What we're doing here is making, remaking records from the period to sound as good as they did back then. And do they sound as good as they did back then? They do, yeah, and, and best, far better than the reissues. The Electric Recording Company is now embarking on recutting seminal jazz works from the 50s and 60s from the archives of Concord Music in Los Angeles. Works from artists including John Coltrane, Miles Davis and Bill Evans will get the ERC treatment and will be available next year. Catherine Drew, CCTV, London.